It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Spring Picnic. This is the new event for Cherry Blossom. The Spring Picnic dice that you can get, which are going to be the essentials for doing the Spring Picnic event, you can get in the shop, of course, if you buy any of the packages, or if you go through these repeatable events. Now when I say repeatable, that means if you use over the amount, it will carry over. You don't have to think about doing it and stopping claiming and then doing it again you can just do these things so stamina jellies for using your event story stamina jellies kingdom arena if you go ahead and just battle throughout the kingdom arena that's going to get you these dice doing your daily rewards at the tree of wishes obviously you can only do that up to three times a day but that is something that you can do your bear jelly train receiving rewards so sending them out is not going to do anything but when you get them back and having trade ships return to the trade harbor. You can actually increase that now. Now that we have the option to get a second dock for 5,000 seashells, you can have two trade harbors going at the same time. So that means you can get two a day. And that means you can get more dice a day for that reason. So your easiest one's going to be the stamina jellies and the Kena Marina. The other ones are going to be a little bit less, but of course something you can get. Now I want to show you here on the events it says lap rewards so for you to get all the way to 60 is going to be one lap and you have 14 days to do this so if you get through all the laps 12 times you'll get all these specific rewards right here which soul stones nether gotcha cubes and gems so some really great rewards now there is bonus rewards these things can just be earned along the board itself so don't think that you have to get the laps done just to specifically get rewards. Now, of course, this is a play on shoots and ladders or snakes and ladders, whichever you call it. And if you land on a spot that has a ladder to take you up, you'll go up faster. If you land on those slides, you will slide back down. So that can be good because you can get rewards again that maybe you've passed and you wanted. But at the same time, maybe you want to just push past up through here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll. We're going to test our luck. And so we get a 5. That's a good start. And we get 30 topping pieces. It did take us back down, but you know what? I appreciate the topping pieces. Now we get a 5 from here. And the slide, as you can see, is gone. So we don't get hit with the slide every single time. So... If you get hit with it once, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm just keep getting hit by the slide every single time. And it's only 10 dice to roll each time. So we got some free time jumpers. So that's always nice. We got another five. I think we're going to get that chance spot. Nope, we passed it. All right, three. That's going to take us right back down because of the slide. So we've cleared two slides now. Hopefully we get a ladder soon so that we can kind of go a little further. That would be nice. Come on, big roll. Six. That's a good roll. Now let's just get a one. Get a one. Just a one. Alright. Three is acceptable because we get more dice. Bonus. Free roll. That's awesome. I'll take that. I like this event. This is a, a little board game within the game. So that's cute. All right, let's see if we can get a two. Get six, I think that's gonna get us some petals. Yep, we got some free petals, which we need those for the exclusive dec decor for the spring event. So that's okay, I'm okay with that. Some more petals. I would love to hit the chance spot to just see what the question mark is gonna be, because I have no idea yet. I think we just got a two. We did. Ooh, we get a chest. It's a dice chest. That's so cool. Okay, that time we got a bonus free roll, but sometimes it could be something different. So that's really cool, too. All right. We are almost to our first lap. So we've almost hit far enough. And this was with 200 dice pieces. So take that into consideration when you're thinking how fast you're going to go. But you might get lucky and hit every single ladder that takes you further and miss every single slide. You never know. All right, let's see if we get the extra pieces if we go over the lap. So we had a two, and it just took us to there. Lap completed. So we do not get the extra roll pieces. So if you're at the end, rolling a six is not in your benefit. 
it's just going to take you right back to the beginning. Oh, I stand corrected. It did put us one space further. So it does stand in your benefit to get high rolls at the end. Awesome. That's awesome. Now, as we can see, the board has changed. We have some different pieces along different spots. So it's not going to be the same every time. So that does change up the randomness. We did get another chest. Awesome. 100 cubes. That's awesome. And then here's our last dice until we complete more events. Oh, no. We got a free roll. Lucky. Let's see what we roll. Two. Awesome. More EXP jellies. So this is the new spring picnic event. You can get a lot of different um, you know, rewards, a lot of different... Like, all, all the rewards, I think, are really nice rewards. I think they really packed in some of the best stuff that you can get. So you won't get, like, random toppings that aren't really useful to you. You're not going to get, like, you know, some gold that you're, like, not looking forward to. Granted, in the bonus rewards, you can get gold. Those are options, but they are at least decent amounts of gold. But as you can see, everything else is rarities, cubes, gems, and soul stones, and some limited decor, too. So most of the rewards are going to be really, really good rewards. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific hopes to get through all the labs. Do you think you're going to be able to do it in 14 days without buying any packages? Do you think you can go through all of these and get all the dice you need to get through? Let me know what you think. I'd love to see your thoughts and best wishes to your board game experience within Cookie Run Kingdom.